Hi there, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Star Wars collection room tour. This one's gonna be a bit quicker because I just wanted to show off some of my most recent purchases, like this Mandalorian helmet right here, as well as my brand new IKEA Detolf with some awesome Mandos and some new Black Series as well, and just a quick overview of the rest. I decided to choose one sort of group and put them up here, and I had a lot of Mandalorians especially with these new ones here that have such amazing detail. Ever since they released that Boba Fett over here, they've just been really killing the sculpts. And this is pretty much a perfect base to make a Jango Fett eventually, which will be a really awesome replacement for this Jango back there. And I still have, I got an, an extra Death Watch Mandalorian. And then I have these two red ones here. And these ones are cool because um, you don't really see a lot of red troopers, so that's cool. And then we got Mando with Baby Yoda, and we got the girls over here, and I got an extra Bo-Katan to sort of be like, almost like more representation of different units, because when, with the helmet on, it kind of just looks like a general trooper, which is really cool. And I have her with her mask off behind her with bo -Katan. And then over here, I got my Mandalorian from Hot Toys with Baby Yoda there. So you're going to see a lot of new Mandalorian stuff. There's my clone. And then down here, this um, Mix Mayfield right here is new. And I really like his character. And that episode is probably one of my favorites in The Mandalorian. So I'm glad they finally did him. And I got that new Anakin here. And then in the front here, I got Fennec and that new Darth Vader from Kenobi, which has an amazing sculpt. And I have Ahsoka with Maul. Um, a Bib Fortuna loose now, that's new. And then Mesa Windu and Anakin from those Attack the Clones waves. And I'm so glad they released the Anakin. I actually have three because I wanted one card did as well. And then I have Ayla Sakura and then the clones. So this is sort of like my prequel area here. And then it just sort of goes into Mandalorian and original trilogy. I still love that yak face right there. Such an awesome one. I hope they do Frog Lady because I'm really into the weird aliens. And we're probably going to get a lot of cool aliens next year for Return of the Jedi's anniversary, so that'll be cool. And then right here, I have Din Djarin's helmet right here with this really cool feature. And that is just cool because it stands out in the detolf and looks really classy. This Maldo Kree's Mandalorian is new right here. And I'm really hoping that eventually they give our new Mando that's coming out a soft goods cloak. I definitely don't like the plastic but this episode was actually one of my favorites because it's sort of like Empire Strikes Back it has obviously this guy based off Boba Fett but it has a crash landing scene it has a monster trying to eat everyone in the ship scene so it's pretty much Empire Strikes Back in a mini episode and I just really liked the callback to that and Frog Lady was amazing and I know a lot of people like her now she's sort of like a cult favorite and then I got this guy to go with him so they look really cool and I definitely needed some Mandalorian representation on the shelf and it comes with this cool spider right here and still a bit overpriced but you're at least getting something new with that and it's sort of fitting for Halloween so that's cool and I got some pretty cool stuff here and as you can see, having this IKEA Detolf right here really helps to clear up space right here. And it also helps because my cat will just absolutely knock over all of these figures. So having them in display cabinet has completely fixed that problem. And she'll still hang out over here, but she doesn't really do anything. She's knocked over my game board pieces for Legion like once, but that's pretty much it. And these are all hand painted and she appreciates art, as, as you can see. And then here I have Anakin's ship and Mighty Beans. 
And down here I have Lego and the Falcon. And I have a lot more space. So over here, I guess I'll just run through them all like real fast. Like here I got a carded Fennec. And now I have her both loose and carded. Same with the Fortuna. Same for Yak Face. There's that Commander Cody. Got him for 15 bucks. It was a steal. Yada yada. I now have a carded and loose Boba Fett right next to my other two Mandalorians here. And I sadly did open my Death Watch Mandalorian to help army build for my shelf right here. But I already ran out of space up here, so I don't really mind opening things now because I really don't have space on my wall anymore. And I'm not sure I wanted to consume my entire house. Here's those Attack of the Clones figures. And I love that makes me feel right here. Soka, Labot. Yeah. Also, I just got this new IKEA shelf. This shelf would also be really good for Star Wars collections. I'm pretty sure you can fit helmets in here. And I've seen people do Lego sets in here as well. And you still have space on top. So it actually is a pretty good buy. And I'm pretty sure it's only like 50 bucks. And here are some of my newer records. I have a lot of rock music. So here's Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd. Then I got Van Halen. And then I got more Rolling Stones. But I decided to change it up. So I got Barry White, Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, more Michael Jackson, Bee Gees, Miles Davis, which is jazz, and John Coltrane because most of my vinyl is gonna be like Nirvana or Led Zeppelin, things like that. So I decided to just spice it up. I also have like this Star Wars vinyl right here and I definitely should try and get Empire Strikes Back. And I have a Frank Sinatra vinyl coming in the mail as well. You see more Nirvana and Led Zeppelin. So yeah, lots of rock over here. And then I also have my Star Wars books, and I've been really into this book right here, which is all about evolution and the way that we communicate non-verbally and verbally and our habits and how it relates to our origins as primates. And right here, it's pretty much the same old stuff, but I do have these two new Bionicles right here. And I dug up some of my old Bakugans just because they sort of look good together. And I have my Avatar Last Airbender figures and Transformers. And this also isn't Star Wars, but I got this new cat tree for my cat. So there's that. So that pretty much covers my Star Wars collection room update. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.